Hey guys, it is Arika Misha and I'm in the kitchen. Yes, as always, I'm always in this kitchen. But yeah, anyway, let's get into what we're gonna be cooking today. We are doing le breakfast this morning and today I will be cooking the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Complete Cinnadus Pancake Mix. Now, if you guys have been watching my channel, um, I did the, I think it was Fruity Pebble, what was it? Oh, Lucky Charms, that's right, it's on the side of the box. Um, you guys can look. I will try to remember to link the um, video below of when I did the Lucky Charms uh, pancake uh, pancakes on my channel. So today I'm doing the Cinnamon Toast Crunch pancakes and I cannot wait. I think I'll probably like these better than the other ones, but anyway, they're both sweet. All right, so we got the Cinnamon Toast Crunch pancakes. We've got some Eckridge smoked sausages, skinless smoked sausages, Yes, I love this brand. And Papa's had them on sale two for seven. So y'all know I was all about getting that. And of course, some eggs. So we got some pancakes, sausages, and eggs. That is gonna be our quick, easy breakfast this morning. So yes, let go. Okay guys, we are ready to make our pancakes so we can get those going. Um, I already cooked the eggs and the sausages. Only thing I did was cut the sausages up and I grilled them in the oven, 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. You guys see how those look? Oh yes, and they already have the parsley on them. And I like cutting the little lines and make it look all fancy and delicious. That's what I did. And our scrambled eggs, y'all seen me cook scrambled eggs a million times. I always add milk to my eggs and make them nice and fluffy. Yes, sausage and eggs are already done. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I know that look good. Y'all so greedy. All right. Okay. All right. Y'all know I love to eat too, so. All right, so we got our sausage and eggs already done. Let's move on to our Cinnamon Toast Crunch uh, pancakes. All right, just like the um, Lucky Charm pancakes, uh, it says here you can add half a cup of water or half a cup of milk to the mix. I'm gonna go with, um, I think last time I did milk, I think I'm gonna go ahead this time and do water, try water. I was gonna do milk, but I'm gonna do water this time. Last time I did it with milk, with the Lucky Charms. I'm gonna see how it comes out if I use milk this time. So, well, I mean water, duh. All right, and of course, our box contains the pancake mix. Y'all see it here, it contains the pancake mix, uh, the um, cinnamon dust, and cereal topping. So, and like it says here, just add water or milk. Just add water or milk. This time, like I said, repeating myself, I'm gonna add water. Okay, we got our cereal toppings, cinnamon dust, and our pancake mix. Let's see. Okay, so it looks like our pancake mix doesn't have anything in it. Like the Lucky Charms had little uh, sprinkles in it. Okay, don't look, there's nothing in there. Maybe it's a cinnamon flavor, I don't know. But we shall see. Let's go ahead and get the mixing this up real quick. So we can get these pancakes cooked up. Get this cut open. I gotta get me some new kitchen scissors because my kitchen scissors are starting to get dull because I use them so much. All right, got our pancake mix we dumping in there. Let's see if it smells like cinnamon. Mm, not really. It don't smell like pancake mix either. It smells a little sweet. So, all right, let's add our one and a half cup of water this time. So, let's get that in there. All right, we've got our one cup of water and our half a cup of water. One and a half cup of water. That's what we got. All right. Get this all mixed up. Make sure y'all can see that. Just trying to see if it you know smell like cinnamon or something but it don't so all right y'all 
I'm going to go ahead and finish getting this all mixed up. Don't Y'all don't have to stand here and watch me mix up the pancake mix. I'm going to get that mixed up real good. And we'll be back to getting our pancakes cooked. Okay, guys. I have to come back and show you guys real quick. Um, I read the directions on the back. And they said that I had to, once I got my pancake mix mixed up, I had to put the cinnamon dust in the mix. And they said mix it about six to eight times so i guess you know they don't want you to like fully fully mix it in so they say just mix it like six or eight times so i'm just gonna you know lightly mix it in I mean, this more than six or eight times but i guess it's supposed to give it like a cinnamon flavor you know so i'm mixing it in they don't want you to mix it, mix it. So I'm not going to mix it, mix it. But I am going to get this center dust mixed in enough. Because, you know, we got some little chunks of center dust. We got to get those mixed in the pancake mix now. I don't know what y'all talking about, but we got to get that mixed in now. We can't have no chunks of center dust in our pancake mix. So, all right, okay, so... I believe I got it mixed in well enough. All right, let's get over here because I got my pan already ready. Let's get over here. Y'all see my pancake pan is already ready. So let's go ahead and get to cooking the pancake. So. All right, let me get it spooned in. Get my spoon here. Okay, good. Y'all can see real good. So, let's get some pancake mix in here. Don't do too much. Don't do too much. All right. Now. Okay. I already got my oil in there, y'all. Okay. All right. Y'all know how I do. If y'all seen me cook my pancakes, y'all know how I do. Get that pancake shaped to our pan. Okay, now they starting to smell a lot extra sweet. Okay, I guess that's how it's supposed to be. You know, putting that center dust in there. All right, and like I said, this time I'll make sure I link the other video uh, below the uh, lucky charms i used milk i added milk last time because you can do milk milk or water this time i did water i want to see how you know it turns out let me add a little bit of oil today i'm using my bertoli cooking olive oil today hope you guys can see that I'm trying to step out of the light and i don't want to burn my pancake if i do y'all will see it i will not be editing that Y'all know I keep it real over here, so hopefully I don't burn my pancake. Okay. All right, don't be trying to burn the pancake. Now, hold up. Wait a minute. I'm noticing that it's sticking more. Let's see. It's sticking more than the, um, sticking more than the, um, Lucky Charm pancakes. I used milk last time. These smell real cinnamony. No, that ain't a word, y'all, but they smell like real cinnamon. Like cinnamon toast crunch, duh. Okay. All right. I don't know if it was the milk that made the difference last time, but maybe. They say you can add milk or water. I don't know about this now. Looking a little crumbly, but y'all know me. I'll make it happen. I don't know about that, y'all. Let me see how it's looking on that other side over there. See, real crumbly. Yeah. I don't know if it's because I used water this time or what. Or maybe the center dust mix. I don't know, but these don't look too 
They don't look like pancakes. I don't know. I'm going to switch my oil. I'm going to switch to my veggie oil. Let's see how the pancake turns out then. Yeah, but this one don't look too. That one don't look too hot, y'all. Okay. All right. I'll be back, y'all. We're going to try it with the veggie oil. Let's see how those turn out. Okay, guys. We are back. And like I said, this time I'm going to use my vegetable oil and I'm going to use my measuring cup to help me get my pancake mix in. Let's see if it makes a difference in the pancake. We shall see. We shall see. Like I said, I don't know if the fact that I use water instead of milk made a difference. Maybe. Maybe it was my oil. Maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if these pancakes turn out better. We shall see because y'all know me. I'm gonna show y'all. So Let's see if they come out better with me using my vegetable oil instead of the Bertoli oil. I mean, because, you know, sometimes that makes a difference. Your oil, I mean, because, duh, that's what cooks it. So, let's see if our pancake turns out better. Looks like they're turning out better. Got our heat up. That was my fault, flipping it all crazy, but yeah. Looks like that may have been the issue, our oil. You know, the oil wasn't, you know, the right type of oil to cook our pancake. Yeah, definitely it was the oil. So, all right, that's good. And like I said, our pancake smells like cinnamon toast punch cereals. Duh, sure does. Oh, that's definitely much better. I'll let it cook on that other side more. Definitely much better. Definitely cooking much better. So, we solved that problem, which was our oil. All right. You flip it over. Okay. Good, good. All right, y'all. Pancake looks good. Let's go ahead and move it on over to our plate. All right. Looking good. So, I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of the pancakes cooked up, y'all. And I will be back to show y'all the grand finale. Okay, guys. I'm back. This is the grand finale with a few hiccups. Y'all saw it. Don't know if it was the milk or the water. If I should have added milk this time, I don't know. But I mix it either or. So, anyway, this is our complete breakfast. Our um, cinnamon toast pancakes our sausage and our eggs and y'all already saw the sausage and eggs they look delicious and as you see our pancakes pancakes came out lovely uh once i got the hang of it with those pancakes i think they were too animated like too much in it too much in the mix you know with the cinnamon adding the cinnamon and i think that made the pancake mix a little heavier which made it a little bit difficult to cook so um will i cook this again no no y'all know i'm gonna keep it real no i will not these are just too animated for me just too much too much uh too much to it so they don't really come out right and y'all know how i do <laughs> i be cooking it up so all right but yeah guys that is it that is the cinnamon toast crunch complete center dust pancake mix y'all see me do it so you know i did it word of the day never give up never give up no matter how hard it looks how difficult things may be no matter what you're going through never give up
Give it all up to God. That's the only giving up you should be doing. Give it up to God. That's it. Word of the day. Never give up. Alright guys. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget guys. Knowledge really is power. Thanks guys. Bye.